goal for AFC Russian and Diamonds, number 11, Dylan Wilson. Russian and Diamond, scored by number nine, Ethan Johnston.
Michael, congratulations. You've come to Harbour Town. You've turned over the team that are top of the league on their turf. And well, I bet not many people had that on their coupon today. No, we said it We said it to the players. Literally, it's a free hit today. No one expects us to come here. Rushton just got out of the relegation zone to come here and do a job on Harbour Town. But what a fantastic performance it was from the boys today. They were brilliant. We, we speak about brotherhood in there, about it's your brother, you're going to war with your brother, and they showed that today. They, you may miss the tackle, your, friend, your best, but your brother is next to you, and but we rode our tough lives. We rode our luck at times, don't get me wrong, but we, at the end of the day, we were fantastic. Just tell us a bit about your game plan as well, because we know what Harbour are like. They stick it on you. They're very good at what you do, at what they do, because they're at the top of the league for that reason. But tell us about your approach to the game and how, and how you went about it. Yeah, that was spot on. We we knew that they were very direct. They had some big boys, which they put more on after they went one down. But we just knew we had to keep keep a solid shape and make sure we picked up them second balls, which we did a lot of. And ultimately, we had to be use that youth and experience we've got that we rat around. We don't make it easy for them to put balls in, quality balls into the box. And then when they do, we know we're going to have to batter, we're going to have to head it, we're going to have to kick it, we're going to have to be solid in both boxes. And look, we knew once we got the ball down as well, at times we had the technical ability to go and to punish them, which we did. The first goal in games like this is always really important and excellent. Bit of quick thinking from Ryan to hook it over the top from the free kick and well, what a finish from Dylan for his first goal for the club. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Dylan's had to wait his chance. Like I said, he, he came in, he's not played a minute minutes and last, over the last few games, he's really, really started feeling like I'm so happy for him. It's a great finish. And that's the thing, we're, we're a team at the moment when we score first, we really grow into games and we did that today and it gives us something to hold on to, but we had to reiterate, we don't get deep, we don't give, we don't step off the gas on what we were doing. And yeah, look, and they got the result and it was just, it's just brilliant. You came in at half time, deservedly won the luck. What was the message to your lads at the break? It was pretty much the same as thing. We, we frustrated them. We frustrated them that first half. They were kicking out our boys. It was getting a bit ugly on their side, if we're being honest. But look, we just had to keep them going, keep them believing, and which they did. And like I said, this group f f continue to amaze me on how well they are and how they're adapting to this. And they're working hard for each other. Like it's, it's, a, it's a new group. We've had to put it together on the go, but they've been fantastic and thoroughly deserve at the moment the recognition they're getting. And well, I was going to mention the defence and Ben Heath for the performance that they put in, but it was one big collective team effort, wasn't it? Because not only did they do their jobs at the back, the midfielders were there to mop things up, the strikers were pressing from the front. From 1 to 11, it was just a fantastic team display. Yeah, you summed it up, Joe. It was a fantastic team performance, and that's what we need at this time of the year. You know, it's getting to crunch time. And like I said, when we're looking back where we were a few months ago to where we are now, and this team's evolving, and it's exciting to be part of, and it's exciting to lead, and we just. It's a shame we're getting to the end of the season because this team's got so much more in the tank and we'd like to have seen where they could have got to. Tell me what was going through your mind. 90th minute, Ethan Johnston running through. <sighs> well, I'm honest, time's to steal. I just, he went through and he took a few touches and I think once the shot's gone past the keeper, it was just waiting for the net to rip or whatever. And I think there was just an uproar of emotion from everyone. It's, it's been a tough day. The boys battled. We on the sideline were constantly thinking what we could do to help them out. But look, we, we talk about that teamwork, that brotherhood. We're all part of that, the staff, the management team. And like I said, to see the fans at the end have such a great weekend, which they've had in comparison to last Saturday when we was at Quorn, it's, it's fantastic because they've been with us thick and thin. So, look, we want to say a big thank you to them. Everything we're doing is to help this club. And I think that shows that what this club means to a lot of these players in here, that we've, they've given us a chance to show what we can do. And we'll hopefully be paying them on that. And just on that feeling when the second goal goes in, I mean, clearly the fans enjoyed it because there was about 20 of them that fell over behind the goal there. But from your perspective, did you feel like the game was just about done at that point? You just about got it over the line? Yeah, I felt like it's a weird one because I don't think they really... They had a couple of half chances, but at 1-0, you know, it's always just a little bit of lack of concentration or if the ball falls luckily to them in and around the box from a seconds and all that hard work they've done could have easily ended up in a point but to see that and that's what Ethan's got in abundance that's why he's played higher that that composure that the 90th minute when your legs are heavy and everything's going through your mind just to stay composed put the ball in the corner and send this place especially the Russian fans into absolute pandemonium was brilliant I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the other results, but Gresley and Rugby have drawn, which means that your side are now two points clear outside the relegation zone. All three teams have played the same number of games as well. Yeah, it, look, we've, we've had a great weekend and it doesn't stop now. We've got four massive games to go and look, we've given ourselves this chance. 
and we need to continue to work hard and do it. Look, I said it to you last week, I said it to you Tuesday, we, we aren't scared of anyone that we come up against when we're on form and playing how we are. And that's how we should be, because this group's a fantastic group. They're a good bunch of players, technically brilliant. They can now mix it with the best, and they've shown that four points off of two teams in the top four. Look, we're excited. We're going to enjoy these four games and see where we are. But we have to realise we'll enjoy tonight. Of course we will, to come and beat top of the league and do it the way we did. But we, we've got four massive games, and the hard work has to continue now. A lot of us as supporters have been crunching the numbers, trying to work out just how many wins, how many points it would take for us to stay in this league. I won't ask you to give me any of your numbers, but is that something that you've been doing as a management team, as a group? Of course we have. We've, we've set ourselves targets. You had to. We, the first target was to get off the bottom of the, the table. We did that. And then to get out of the table, we've done that. And now, like I said, it's just a kick on. And we're out there now and we won't. We're going to not be looking over our shoulders. We're going to continue to look up and see who we can catch above us. And that's the main thing. We're looking up, we're staying positive. But like I said, the hard work's got to continue. But when you're playing like this and you've got a group of players that give you everything, you can't help but just want to enjoy the ride. Just lastly, the Hillier Cup coming up this Thursday. We spoke previously about how obviously the, the game on the Saturday is going to take priority. Is that something that you'll be thinking the same about again? Yeah, 100%, Joe. We will make a lot of changes on that. and. We've given ourselves this fantastic opportunity to, to survive in this league after everything and that still has to take priority. We'll get boys in that haven't got a lot of minutes over the weekend. We'll get them in, we'll get them match fit because we're still going to need everyone. Obviously the, the, the window's shut, we can't bring any players back in so but we will rest some boys, so, rightly so, but we're going there to win the game. Like I said, we, we've got a massive opportunity to get to a cup final as well as doing what we are in the league so that it's an exciting time to be part of the Diamonds for sure. Well Michael, congratulations not only on the win today but on the fantastic job you're doing overall. Thank you, Keep thank you very much. You're watching AFC RD TV and here at the Beehive, the final scoreline, wow what a result, Harbour Town nil, AFC Russian Diamonds 2, Diamonds man of the match number 5, Tariq Dallas, Tariq, this has a, been a fantastic result for Diamonds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has, it has, it's been brilliant. Um, the boys have been working tirelessly and you can see uh, how the result came out today. 2-0, can't really ask for any more. Yeah, I'm sure this uh, score has raised a few eyebrows around the rest of the uh, pitching in Northern Premier League Midlands division. But uh, yeah, it just seemed to go Diamond's way. Uh, he played a very tight game uh, from start to finish. Uh, the only goal in the first half, Dylan Wilson in the 26th minute, and that gave the team even more confidence. Exactly, exactly. I thought the boys, the gaffer told us to come out here. No one's really expecting any, anything from us today. So we can go out there, play our stuff, and that's what happened today, and we got the win. So, uh, Tariq, this is my first time to interview you on AFC RDP. One of my usual questions is, what was the mood of the team at halftime? You must have been buzzing. Yeah, so we went in at halftime. You can hear there, gaffer, just laid into them and I think the boys done brilliant. We came out here second half, didn't step off the gas and kept on pushing on and I thought it was brilliant for the lads all together, all around, even the subs as well. Oh sure, of course. Now Joseph has uh, helped me to understand this but I believe you're playing a 4-2-3-1 <laughs> formation and yeah. that yeah. suits you well especially as a defender. Yeah yeah exactly and then um, at the end we uh, decided to go to a back five as well just oh, to yeah. soak up a bit of the pressure because they were sure. lumping it up there just dealing with it and I thought the boys were Excellent to a man. So now sometimes I've heard 2 0 is the dodgy scoreline, but it's a great scoreline in the 90th minute. Fantastic assist, I believe, by uh, Ryan Inman to pass yeah. the ball into Ethan Johnson and slotted the golf ball home. Yeah, the, the, nice the, com there. the composure he showed during that time when his legs are probably probably gone and he just <laughs> slipped it through to Ethan and then Ethan's under it. Was it a, personally, was it a difficult decision for you to join Diamonds uh, just in the past month? Really? Um, no, I'm, I'm quite local, so I'm, I'm coming from Bedford, so it's like about a 20 minute drive, so oh, I've, uh, I've always followed Rushton, so yeah, yeah, it's good to get in amongst lads, and the boys have taken to me well, and uh, yeah. everyone's been brilliant since I've been here. Well, you've been fantastic, uh, Tariq, we're glad to have you with Diamonds. Another uh, question I like to ask players is, uh, did you have a, a favourite uh, player when you were growing up as a young lad? And which team do you uh, support? Do you have a which team? Not, that's why not go down well. I'm a Man United supporter. Oh, the Red Devils. And, uh, yeah, yeah, the Red Devils. Oh, they've had a hot and cold season. I know, Is I know. Is Tim Hart know, getting the sack this summer? I really uh, hard to say. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's hard uh, to say. Do you have a favourite player growing I, up as a um, kid? I'll probably say Rio Ferdinand. Oh, yeah. Rio Ferdinand. Four players at the back, strong in the air. 
I was like the new thing this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover it into the film. Well, very good. So uh, there's yeah. always the next game. I know we have a, a game in the NFA Billiard yes. Senior Cup uh, semifinals. Yes. Here's the night. I'm sure the concentration will be back in the league tonight. Right? Yeah. On Saturday, uh, your thought process going into Anthony Nomads. Yeah. A tough game on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, the boys, we're obviously we're celebrating now, but when it comes to Saturday, well, we've got to deal with Thursday first. When, when it comes to Saturday, I'm sure the boys will be up there to go for it, to go and get another three points. All right, well, great to read, and again, welcome to Diamonds. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I don't need love.